meeting of the Board of Public Works and Safety. You want to, I don't know if we could share this one. Okay. Uh, roll call. Here. Are there any conflict of interest statements? Approval of the minutes of September 1st. I've uh, had a chance to review them and I don't have a problem if somebody wants to recommend approving them. Uh, motion and a second. Questions or comments? Hearing none, those in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, next, we move down to correspondence item A professional service agreement with United Consulting for Engineering Service in the Beach Avenue Lighting Project. What the dollar amount is on that, Dean? Oh, nineteen thousand three three hundred dollars. Do I have a motion approving the professional service contract? Motion and a second. Questions or comments? Hearing none. Those in favor, say aye. Aye. Next, we have uh, a request from 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 Corellis Roofing. Uh, they're going to be doing some work in the alley. They're going to be cutting out a section to run some conduit and it's been reviewed by the engineering department. Do we have a motion approving their digging request? Pardon? Yeah, but I don't think anybody used that alley except them. Motion and a second. Questions or comments? Hearing none, those in favor say aye. Motion approved. Uh, disposal authorization from the Hammond Police Department. <laughs> Motion and a second. Questions or comments? Hearing none, those in favor say aye. aye. Those against? Motion passes. Uh, Item D, hearing on property located at 4234 Johnson. Chris? Good morning. Gary Matthews. Uh, the property here is owned by Ronald and Catherine Mann. It uh, has an interesting history. The city issued a notice of violation because they could find no permits for its construction or use as a two-story, two-unit residential property. Uh, Mrs. Mann uh, uh, and her husband are retired now. It was their grandparents' home, and so their family has lived in it continuously uh, since the early 1900s. And the history is that it was built by St. Casimir's Church in the 1910s, before we had uh, permits issued, and it was a rectory, a residence for the priests there, and then in the 1920s, it was used by the nuns who started teaching school at St. Casimir. In 1929, the city approved a relocation permit because they were going to be building the new St. Casimir Church. And so this was given to one of the parishioners, Mrs. Mann's grandparents, and they paid the city to relocate it to its current address. That's why there's no building permit because none were issued when it was first built for the church. It went on the tax rolls in 1929 because before that it was church property and not taxable. So the zoning was proper under the first zoning ordinance as a two unit rental. The city's concern though is because it is a two unit rental, some minimum steps should be done to make it safe. And what the, the building department wanted was hardwired smoke and fire detection, battery backup, a hole in a, in a ceiling closed uh, for a one hour fire suppression. My clients have agreed to that. And so we submitted an agreed order for the board's approval to finally resolve this matter by doing those things. <laughs> it's 
kind of fun to go through some of the old articles and the diamond history of the church and centennial history. And the, the other good thing is the man's live in Whiting, but now that they're retired, they're moving back into this. They're going to occupy the first floor as their home. Thank you very much. Those in favor say aye. 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 Those against? Motion passes. We move down to item E. We have some demolition hearings. We're going to do these one at a time? Uh, yes, we are, but I think there are some attorneys here on certain properties, so we may take them a little bit out of order. I know uh, Mr. Golding is here on 850 Mulberry. If we could go to that one, Mr. President. Um, I've conferred with my client on this property. He paid a uh, for an inspection yesterday, and what we'd like to do with the uh, city's consent is we'd like to uh, get the inspection done and uh, try to work out a rehabilitation agreement on this property. Um, that's correct. City's position is we'd like to move this to uh, December. I'm sorry, February 23rd as a continuance date to allow the inspection and to hopefully get into a rehab agreement situation. I, I would appreciate that very much. Motion in the second. Questions or comments? Hearing none, those in favor say aye. Aye. Thank you. Motion passes. I do too. Be out there. I think Attorney Bangs is here on 6248 Jackson. We could take that next. Good morning, how are you? Good. Um, Mr. President, this is the property that's owned by an uh, owner named Luciano. Uh, it is a boarded up, overgrown single family house with a bad roof. Uh, the tree seems to have fallen on the garage and the water's been off for over two years. We did receive an email from attorney Apuba who indicated that they represent the bank. Um, I can present the board with photographs, showing attorney Bangs this photograph from uh, August. Uh, and I'll show the board that it's the city's position they'd like to move forward with the government. Yeah, the foreclosure is just completed on the property last Friday, matter of fact, the bank took ownership of the property on December 2nd. So the bank is just asking for some time to actually go in and do their own evaluation and inspection to determine if there's going to be repairs done or if they're going to pursue their own demolition of the property. So, so I, I guess, Attorney Banks, what I would suggest is, and what we've done in many other uh, houses in this uh, before this board, is that we would request the demolition order be entered. We say the demolition pending uh, the city's ability to bid it out. Um, and then at that point, which takes about six to eight weeks, and then at that point we could uh, revisit uh, whether or not the bank wants to rehab it or not. Um, I, when's the sheriff's sale set for it? Sheriff's sale is last Friday. Okay, so you have a deed now? So we have, we just got the deed okay. where we'll be receiving a deed here in the next week or so. Could, so. Could, are you with Attorney Ahuva? Are you? Yes. Okay, so we have her information. Um, so what we'll do is, uh, if, in, unless there's an objection, we request the order be affirmed, we'll stay the order, until at least February 23rd, uh, and the city will move forward with bidding it out. Uh, the bids will probably be accepted sometime in late January, early February, um, and then we can revisit this at, the, at that time. So we'll continue to February 23rd and stay the, stay the order. So would the position of the board would to grant the demolition at this point without giving the bank an opportunity to make a repair? No, so what you... What, what, I mean, that's what we're... we're yeah, trying, absolutely. I mean, I want to give them a shot to at least go in and have a they, review and do an estimate and have their own inspector come in and... So what, what there's a resolution. Chris will, send, Chris will send you a copy of the resolution the board's adopted. Oh, she sent it to a Hoover already. What it says is that if you want to potentially rehab it, you have to pay the city for the inspection, $150. When that happens, um, the city will inspect the property. A rehab agreement will be uh, written for your review. If it's acceptable, it'll go before the board for, for approval. Um, and, and then during the inspection period, the property will not be knocked down during the rehab prop period, the property will not be knocked down as long as there's progress being made. And so it, it's pretty much standard procedure here before the board, which is that we enter the order, it's stayed pending uh, uh, inspection through a certain date. In this case, it'll be stayed through at least February 23rd. So we still we can still get the inspector out there. Absolutely. To do that. We can have them Absolutely. do the communication that we've done I've done in the past. Yep. Work with the city and 
absolutely. Yeah, they do. Make a motion to affirm the order. Second. Motion and a second. Questions or comments? Hearing none, those in favor say aye. 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 Those against? Motion passes. Yep. Yep. Okay. Thank you. I think we have uh, Attorney Johnson here on a couple properties. He's here on, are you here on 948 Summer? Okay, 948 Summer. Uh, the city's agreed to a two week extension to December 22nd. I talked to an attorney in uh, Illinois yesterday who said that I told him since he wasn't admitted in Indiana, they needed an Indiana attorney, so apparently they found Mr. Johnson. Uh, so that's going to be reset for September, I'm sorry, December 22nd, 948 summer. And then were you here on another day? Yes. 5640 Alice. Um, are you here on behalf of the bank or the owner? On uh, behalf of the bank. Well, Midfirst, okay. Anyway. Yeah, Midfirst Bank owns this. This property was previously cited in Hammond City Court for 25 different code violations. It's been marked in uninhabitable. There's broken windows, gang graffiti, holes in the walls, the interior is full of garbage. Chris will, uh, will get the photos here for you in a second. Um, there has been an inspection performed by Midland, but there's been no activity since that time. Um, there's a interesting writing on the walls there. Okay, so The city's position is we, re we really need to move forward on this property. I know Mr. Kearney and his department are um, very anxious to get this problem properly in the neighborhood down. Inspection, yeah. The estimate by uh, Mr. Cook is that the repairs uh, would cost approximately $75,000 at a minimum. And the assessed valuation is currently $72,300. I'm not sure Mr. about Mr. Johnson's position. The city's position is to affirm the demolition order as presented. With all due respect, uh, you know, this, this uh, one did go to Sheriffville sometime over the summer in June. Uh, there, unfortunately, were squatters in there, which caused us to have to go to court to get rid of, this, uh, rid of the system and get everybody evicted. Uh, around November of this year, we finally were able to verify that the property was finally vacant. Nobody was squatting there anymore. So at this point, uh, after conferring with my client, they are, are they are of the position that, again, they've done an inspection. They're willing to repair the property, but they need to get their own people in there just to check the full extent of the damage to see whether or not it is feasible to actually repair this, or I suppose whether or not it's time to come down. With that being said, my client is willing to try to work on this one. Um, like before, I would respectfully state that the board possibly just continue this one house uh, to give Midwest an opportunity to inspect it and try to make um, Mr. President and board, our concern is that the bank hasn't done anything since the date of the inspection. I, as a compromised position, I, I'd request the board to affirm the order, stay until February 23rd to allow the bank a chance to get in there, uh, follow up with uh, uh, Building Commissioner Cook, and that will also allow the city to, uh, the, the ability to bid it out in the meantime in case the bank decides not to move forward. That's uh, the recommendation of the city attorney and it's Uh, thank you. Uh, next, we're going back to the list now. 903. We need to vote. Oh, those in favor yes. say aye. Oh, I'm sorry. Aye. <laughs> those against? Motion passes. I apologize. I didn't. You're just moving too fast. I am. Kevin. <laughs> I am. I, I'm sorry about that. Uh, 903 Bower Street Garage. We're back to the list, Mr. President. Are you here on 903 Bower? Okay. Um, the, uh, are you Mrs. Madrano? Yes. Do you live at the residence? No, I don't. You don't? Okay. Um, where do you live? I do at 34 Corbin Court. Corbin Court? Where's that? What city is that? In Sherville. Okay. Is it a rental? It's one. 903 Bowers? Mm -hmm. um, Mr. President, is this, uh, where's this, is this on the garage? Mm -hmm. Is this the yes. condition of the garage? It, I, I didn't go. I, was, I wasn't aware they were that bad. You weren't? Well, oh, yeah. how often do you get out there? <laughs> Not really. Not really? Okay. And that's the problem. We have out of, we have out of town landlords. Lived in Cherville and they're not taking care of the property. We don't, yeah. you know, 
know, the neighbors. Yeah, yeah, no, no, we're you, fixing it. Do you have any objection to the city knocking the garage down? Yes, I want to save it. You want, you want, want to save it? it? Yeah, okay. I want to fix it. Yeah, I didn't know it was that bad. Uh, how, okay, well, when was the last time you were on the property? I mean, you can see that. Was, those are pictures are from when, August? It was. Okay, from uh, That property has been in that situation for, for years. Yeah. It, it, it was bad, but not that bad. And I, think I, just didn't, I was thinking fixing it and fixing it, but one thing after the other. But It's got no, holes in the roof. Uh, well, we, There's holes in the roof, you know that. Yes, yes. Yeah, I showed you. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just been a good pass. It's been like yeah. that for a while. Yeah, we, we have. How long have you owned the property? Uh, I don't know, maybe nine years. Nine years? Yeah. I already talked to a company. They, they Are can they licensed in the city? Yes. You're sure? What's mm -hmm. the name of them? Uh, Freddy. Okay, not the state house. Did you get an estimate or anything yet? Because some sometimes when you get a garage in that condition, you're better off knocking it down and rebuilding on the well, existing foundation. They already went and see it, and they said that it's 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 just the top. Not that I even without them. So when something goes on, Mr. Madrano, what Mr. Kearney is saying is that once something goes on the demolition list, in order to do any repairs to it, you have to get an inspection done. Yes. Okay, yes, so you yeah, need we, to go pay we, for we the inspection. That's whatever okay. we need to do. Okay, yeah, so fine. I want you to make sure that you leave. Do you have a car or something that we can, you need to call Mr. Cook at 853-630, I'll leave it here mm -hmm. for you, 6316, and make an appointment for an inspection. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. So we would request that order be entered. Um, and we'll uh, allow the time for the inspection and we'll revisit this. Uh, okay. We just request the order be entered. What is the name of the person? Mr. Cook. Motion and a second. Questions or comments? Hearing none, those in favor say aye. Aye. Those against? Motion passes. Come down slowly. Make sure you get hold. Yeah, so what, what, what is the frame time I have to do this? Well, it'll be bid out, and uh, it'll come down probably sometime in the spring if you don't get it fixed. Okay. Okay. All right. So get a hold for an inspection. Mm -hmm. That's the key. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Thank you, Mr. Madrano. Thanks. Um, six zero zero five to eleven Columbia Avenue. Six zero zero five to eleven Columbia Avenue. Uh, the owners listed as Treeball LLC. Mr. President, we would request the order be affirmed as presented. That we do have good service. No one appears. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you here? Okay, we do have somebody here. Are you Tree Bowl LLC? Yes. What's your name? Jose. Jose what? Arellano. How do you spell it? Is that A R R? One R? Yes, A R E L A. Okay, and Mr. Ariano, um, did you receive a copy of uh, this at 2125 Ridgewood Street in Highland? Yes, I did. At your address? Yes, sir. Are you the owner? Yes, I am. Are you familiar with the condition of the property? Yes, I am. Okay, I'm going to show you a couple of photos. Is this indeed the property? Yes. Is this the current condition? That's correct. Is anyone living there? No. Okay. How long has it been vacant? Uh, for since I bought it, about four months. How long have you owned it? Five months. You owned it only five months. Ago. That's correct. Buy it from. Buy it from a particular lady. It was an individual or yeah, something? Yes. Okay. Wendy. Wendy Wang. Yes. All right. I forgot the name. Okay. What's your plan for the property? Do I'm working right now. Do you have any permits pulled? Yes, I do. I was telling you to get a permit pulled if you didn't have it done on special. Yes, the, the, the um, electrical is already done. They're working on the. Uh, the do you have permit. a permit? Let me yes, see what you got. Let me see. Here's a recent permit. And I got the electrical already done too. This already okay. installed. No, I don't you don't have it? Okay. No. I got the Gonzalez already, already working on that. This already installed it.
given that uh, Mr. Uh, Ariano has permits on this, uh, we're going to set it over to uh, February 23rd to allow some time to get the uh, inspection department in touch with uh, Mr. Ariano to see exactly what uh, what's going on over there. Okay, so we'll continue to February 23rd. No action at this time. Okay. Thank you, sir. Uh, 4346 Hickory. 4346 Hickory. Uh, Owners listed as uh, Novell REI Group LLC, the water's been off since 2014. We would request, given the condition of the property and the uh, matters that have been presented to the board and the notice, that we would request that the order be affirmed as presented. We do have good service. Mayor Hickory? Mayor Hickory? Mayor Hickory? Any motion to affirm the order? Second. Motion and a second. Questions or comments? Hearing none, those in favor say aye. aye. Motion passes. Next property on my list would be 1408 Sherman Street. Uh, this is cur currently owned uh, by Mr. Wisniewski. Uh, I do believe, Mr. Chairman, he has paid for inspection. That's correct. Okay, so we would uh, request this matter be set over then for February 23rd. Okay. And did you say 1408 Sherman? Yes. Um, that's Mr. Wisniewski. Mm -hmm. It was owned by Corlux, and then uh, Wisniewski bought it off tax sale from the county. Uh, February 23rd, that he's paid for an inspection. Motion and a second. Questions or comments? Hearing none, those in favor say aye. 7450 Southeastern is the next one on the agenda. Uh, this is actually has a rehab agreement in place. Uh, and we would the city's position would be to request that it be continued to uh, February 23rd. Hi, sir. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Some even updated. More updated. Wow, these are recent because there's snow on the ground. Uh, okay. Yeah. Why don't we? Your name, sir? Uh, can you, could you spell that for us? R-A. R-A. K-E. That's Fetch. Okay. Fetch. Okay. And that's your first name. Kumar. Um, Kelly, would you like to see these or you're just going to I would remind the front of the side 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 Motion and a second. Questions or comments? Hearing none, those in favor say aye. Aye. Those against, motion passes. 6134 Van Buren Avenue, garage only. 6134 Van Buren. Uh, the, on the owner is listed as uh, Michael Bella Trust. Hi, sir. How are you? What's your name? Michael A. Bella. And uh, are you one of the, uh, are you the trustee or the beneficiary of the trust? Owner of the trust. Okay. Do you own the property at 6134 Van Buren? Oh, yeah. All right. And are you familiar with the condition of your garage? With the squished roof? Yes, it's been repaired. Do you have any photos of that? No, we, we couldn't. Oh, here we go. Did you pull permits for that? Yes. Stop the roof. Stop the roof. Stop the roof. Did it work? We need to do the, the final inspection. Comments? Hearing none, those in favor say aye. You can put a car in there again. That's good news. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Good. I'm glad. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, 231 West.
Are you Mr. Lopez? Okay, are you the owner of the property? Yes, sir. Are you familiar with the condition of the garage? Yes, sir. Has any work been done on that? Yes, sir. You pulled up the net. Okay, take a look. All right, here we go. Building permit, dated uh, 1121. And it looks like, well, there's your, it looks like, oh, you're, that's you on the road. Yes. You took that picture. Be careful, look at that. Well, I took it from my phone. You took it from your phone. We don't want you to fall off the road. Okay. Okay. Uh, hold on. Let me just show the board this. Sir, here's your permit back. I don't want you to lose that. Looks like there's work to be done. Yeah. The city moves to dismiss the demolition request, and the uh, code will monitor the uh, property at uh, 231 West. Second. Motion and a second. Questions or comments? Hearing none, those in favor say aye. Aye. Motion passes. Uh, 833 Wilcox, uh, there is a, um, there is actually work being done on this property. Uh, on that? Hi, how are you? Uh, is this uh, the Diaz? Yes. Okay, Mrs. Mr. and Mrs. Diaz? Yes. Okay. Um, they are doing work on this property. There's an agreement to rehabilitate. It's been extended, I believe, to and through December 29th. Do you think you'll be done by then? Set it over till February 23rd. That way, you guys will have more than enough time, hopefully, right. through the winter to get it done and have final inspection. And if everything goes well, we'll just take it off. Sure. Okay, so uh, request by the city to continue this to February 23rd for status. Okay. Right. Motion and a second. Questions or comments? Hearing none, no's in favor say aye. Mr. President, the last property on our uh, list today is 235 Wildwood. This is a fire property. Um, I'm sure anyone wants to see the neighbor. Motion and a second. Questions or comments? Hearing none, those in favor say aye. Aye. And that concludes our demolition to the board. Okay. Thank you, Kevin. Item F, rental registration hearing on property located at 6705 Carolina Avenue. She said she sent me a message to do it, and it was just a miscommunication, so I'm just requesting the late fees be waived. If how, all how many units are in this property? Just a one single family one. home. And it's their first time renting a pro their property. They moved to Highland. How long have they been um, They were just one year. The tenants that are in there just renewed their one year lease last month. Uh, our notes indicate that these are on the 21st place from Highland. Yep. Um, for water and tenant, uh, Erica has had service since 2014. Um, we're going to line up inspection of the district. The property is not registered for 15 years. It's been sitting in place for 15 years. Both are due. Um, so it's actually, it just shows here that the tenant was actually in 14. Which one was it? Was it that one? Well, we're looking for 14. Oh, right, okay, yeah, it was December 14th. Okay, so That's probably right. It was around property for That's 15 years. Right. I honestly don't. Well, yeah. It must be if you're saying that. 
right when they were moving and coming in, but it doesn't seem like it's been there. No, but I not, it, really but that, if it, but, yeah. Um, there's no indication that the tenant that is there is currently there. Because I just renewed there. their lease, so I must have I must have renewed it. <laughs> so it's possible you weren't you were managing the property at that time? No, I, I moved them in. Okay. Eric was already here. But I just the reason I'm here is just because I there was no it wasn't purposely overlooked. Is that was just my point. It wasn't purposely overlooked. I thought they did it. They thought I did it. Sounds like a pretty good property manager doesn't understand how that happens. Are you okay with this property? No issues. No. It has nothing to do with the way it's used. As long as it's registered on time this year, um, tends to be able to sell it. For sure. Thank you. Yeah. I'll make a motion to waive the late fees. Uh, the property must be registered for the years of 2015 and 2016. Thank you. Um, and I have one check here. One was returned to me, I have it here. So if you want to take care of that today, oh, you can. Yeah. It's the rate of $5 a year for that unit. Second. Motion and a second. Questions or comments? Hearing none, those in favor say aye. Aye. Motion passes. Quick question, can we pre-register for this unit? Or, right? I just, yeah. sorry. Okay, so I guess it's still $20 and $10. The board would like to recognize uh, Janet Venez, Councilwoman at large. Uh, next is item G, rental registration hearing on property located at 7136 Madison. The property owner? Yes. You state your name for the record. I have several properties that I always have them registered, and with this property, I was actually selling them under a land contract. You still have to the land contract for your Yeah, and then, then what happened was they, were, they burglarized it, and they no longer owned the contract. So that's why I came in to okay. get the rental so registration this year. Is the, you're certainly open to open the contract with the tenant to rent to own, but your name, until you get that recorded, you're the one responsible. It was under the land contract with Nina, and then after they burglarized the property, she didn't want it. So now I took the property back. That's why this year I came in to get a rental sticker. I tried to get a rental sticker. When I tried to get the rental sticker, that's when they told me I had to come to court for the previous rental sticker. Any other comments? Thank you. Any issues with the property? No. Motion and a second. Questions or comments? Hearing none, those in favor say aye. Aye. Motion passes. We move down to item H. Rental registration hearing on property located at 7504 Walnut. Is that property owner here? Yes. Open for us? Yes. Okay. You've owned this since 2010? Uh, yes, sir. You were confirmed this 
recorded in May of 2011, uh, where they waived the late fee for one unit for eight hours. Correct. 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 Um, that was my first year as a landlord. I didn't realize I had to pay a rental registration. What happened a couple years ago, I had moved and wasn't getting any notices. Forgot to uh, update my address with the court. Um, also had a baby, a new job during that time. Um, so I wasn't getting any notices until uh, about a month ago. I got something in the mail saying that I, I forgot to pay the, the rental registration for the last two years. But right. again, I, I had moved out of. 2014, 15, and 16. After having gone through this, being brought up in front of the board works in 2010, where mm -hmm. they granted you the, uh, you waived your late fee for mm -hmm. that year. Why wouldn't you understand you need to do this on a yearly basis? I think I did it the following year. Well, we did not register until 14, 15, and 16. Just something that you have mm -hmm. a rental property that, um, you're just you that I don't have any issue with that at all. Mm -hmm. But why wouldn't you, I mean, at yeah. what point do you slip off this and, and not register? Well, again, I, I, I wasn't, I, I didn't update my address when I moved. Um, so I, absolutely. Sure. Um, you know, it's just something that this I, I only have one rental in him and it's a single family home. Um, you know, I'm not like a, a landlord guru, so I don't you know, I, I when I moved that you know, I, I had to actually move into a hotel for about two months and then moved into another house. Um, I just just slipped my mind. It's just an accident. Is this your That's my old address, yeah, that's and where I moved. And that's what was done on in October 2014, after the tenant was entered into the agreement in December of 2013. Mm -hmm. So we started to get a report to on 15 and 16. Second. Motion and a second. Questions or comments? Hearing none, those in favor say aye. 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 Those against? Motion passes. Next is 4735 Henry. Property owner here for 4735 Henry. Registered if it's being rented, it needs to be registered every year with the city. 
Second. Motion and a second. Questions or comments? Hearing none, those in favor say aye. We move down to item J, rental restoration hearing on property located at 5841 Columbia. Is that property owner here? Please step up to the microphone. That okay, what what's in there? From my, my home? We received a handwritten letter that tenant is sworn is the tenant. Final bill for the owner was mailed to Festival Drive on Festival Street in Hobart. So did you write that letter? If that's the if that's the letter saying saying that she that she resides there, yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. So she was in there in 2016, April 2016. Yes, yes, yes. I'm sorry, yes, yes. Uh -huh. okay. She was in there in 2015. October 2015. She moved in October. October 2015. Was it vacant before that? Yes. Okay. So, and I, even though it was registered, it was, it was occupied in October, um, that will be after registration date anyway. It still needs to be registered for 15. Um, and I it wasn't registered for 2016 at all. That's correct. Now, I, I never did receive a, uh, a registration reminder for 15 or 16. Uh, like, I, I assure you they were sent out. Um, how? Information is taken off the system that we use tracking and it sends out every mailing address. Every everyone that has ever registered property, not being registered 15, you know, um, the registration is filled out to people that um, and they give them a, a reminder that they need to be registered before that April 15th deadline. So it was or October of 2015 was when the renter moved in. Yes. Is that correct? Okay. Yes. So it would have been after the date that the reminders would have gone out. So they wouldn't have had it registered. So did you attempt to register in 16 at all, or you were not aware? I was not. I was, I was not aware of it. The last time I was, um, well, when I when I when I used to get reminders, it was a um, yellow card. It will get it will get mailed out to you, you know, to the people. And at that time, it was I believe it was eighty dollars. I believe that was 2013, I think. Has your address changed since then? Did you move or relocate? No. Um, and and I'm sure we, our, our department is one that, that generates these letters for those postcards to be sent out. Um, that was done both in 15 and 16. Um, for whatever reason, we didn't get her, we didn't acknowledge it. Um, we're still here and still not registered. So I, sure. I, however important we we'll care to act with finding the answer, I don't have a problem. Is there any reason why right. we know the white link station was still fixed? Or why it was kicked back? No, I, 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 I'm assuming. May, may I just ask this, please? That the that the the tenant is on is on section eight, and the the um, um, no one there um, mentioned it to, to me, as well as the the inspector came out to the home and inspected the home. The home is safe. There, there's no problems at all, there, as far as I can. That would be for the housing authority for another section for life. Right. And they have they have no obligation to tell you that you need to register with the city of Hampton. Right. Section eight doesn't apply to this. Okay, but I'm just saying, you know, I'm just bringing it up just to let you all know <laughs> that, 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 that I'm not trying to hide anything, that it was with the city, but we're not, we're I just didn't oversight. No. 
We'll make a motion to waive the late fees for the years 2015 and 2016, but the unit must be registered for those years at a rate of five dollars a year. Okay. So if you want to stick around after we can take care of that today. Second. Motion and a second. Questions or comments? Hearing none. Those in favor say aye. 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 Those against. Motion passes. Item K. Rental registration hearing on property located at 616 173rd Street. Are you Lauren? Yes. Is this your first rental property? So it is only one. Right. I will take the recommendation to waive the late fees for 2016. Uh, the one unit must be registered at five dollars for that year. Right. Motion and a second. Questions or comments? Hearing none. Those in favor say aye. Motion passes. Item L. Rental registration hearing at property located at 3009 173rd Street. I'm the property owner. My name is Julian Guerrero. <clears throat> You're in Mission, Chicago? Correct. You received in September, you received an application for a check for modified hours for. Uh, in 2011. It's never been registered. Correct. I've been an owner occupant uh, up until uh, July 21st of this year. I'm a first time landlord. Uh, me and my wife entered into an agreement with another family to rent out that property. I was under the impression I had 90 days, excuse me, um, to register it. Um, honestly, one of my neighbors who's like really good with code, but I'm, sh I'm sure he was wrong. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 60 days, okay. 30 days. 30 days. 30 days after you sign Okay. Um, that was my fact that you bring this up to your neighbor and get this information, you actually occupied the home until July? Correct. Yep. And what was it with the Chicago Street address, the main street address in Chicago? Is there, were we, we already contacted you? You're getting a homestead address, or you're getting your apartment in home in Chicago? Correct. I live in Chicago now. And you said you occupied this house I for, uh, since 2011. Correct. We just moved to Chicago in July. July 1st, we moved to Chicago. We had not entered into an agreement on leasing the house out until July 21st. I have the lease with me now. Okay. Well, again, we For 2017, I have not uh, claimed any homestead exemption. Uh, if you tell them you're not living there, you're going to put it on there. You know, you have to pay that back. Got it. Because you're trying to get a comment on whether or not there's a rental property. Got it. You want to contact them with the government registration form. So if you want to take care of that still, it's going to be your fault. Okay. A gentleman has two addresses. He claims to be living in one um, in Hammond. We have the late fees for 2016, but the unit must be registered and all the same rented out. Um, it's $5 for 2016. You can take care of that today because I just stick around. Okay. Thank you. Right. Motion and a second. Questions or comments? Hearing none, those in favor say aye. 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 Those against, motion passes. Item M is a rental registration hearing on property located at 7320 Madison. We received early this morning the Board of Works a letter from Anjanette Beal asking to reschedule because she's in Phoenix, Arizona and she couldn't make the meeting today. She'd like to have it rescheduled for Thursday, January 26, 2017. Do I have a motion uh, rescheduling it? So moved. Second. 
Motion and a second. Questions or comments? Hearing none, those in favor say aye. aye. Those against, motion passes. We have an agreement to rehabilitate property located at 7436 Arizona. Oh, Mr. President, this is a property that was on the demolition list and the owner has entered into a written rehabilitation agreement and I would ask the board to please approve it. Yeah. Motion and a second. Questions or comments? Hearing none, those in favor say aye. aye. Motion passes. Item O, agreement to rehabilitate property located at 3205 176th Street. This is another property that was on the uh, demolition list, but there is now a written rehabilitation agreement. And I would ask the board to please approve it. Motion to approve the rehab agreement. Motion and a second. Questions or comments? Hearing none, those in favor say aye. Those against, motion passes. Item uh, P, order to rescind, order to demolish property located at 33 Webb Street. This is actually an unusual circumstance. This is a property over on Webb, over that way, uh, which was demolished by the city of Hammond. Habitat for Humanity has acquired the property. They want to rebuild there. However, this is an old order that Kim Nordoff recorded back in 2009. It was an order considering an, um, a legal second unit. And since the property has been demolished and it's a vacant lot, I would just ask the board to please formally rescind this order so I can send it over to um, Dan Klein and he can have clear title to build the property. Motion to rescind the order to demolish. Second. Motion and a second. Questions or comments? Hearing none, those in favor say aye. Aye. Those against, motion passed. Passes. Item Q, correspondence received from Gary Gleason, Director of Public Works, advising of the purchase of three pickup trucks with plows from Smith Ford of Lowell. Mr. President, I'm, I thought Gary was, oh, there he is here. This is actually an emergency situation. We had the engine go out on a couple, and as you know, uh, snow was supposed to be coming this weekend, so we had to actually move quickly to acquire three more trucks because of uh, loss of existing equipment. Just for information purposes. Whatever comes up, how did we acquire these trucks? They are still within the threshold. They're with, under the threshold that requires bidding, but it is actually an emergency purchase because of the weather. So, do we need to declare it an emergency? Yes. That would be the best. It's supposed, it's supposed to snow Sunday. Supposedly seven inches. A motion to declare an emergency. Warning: Danger! Emergency purchase of three pickup trucks. Street Motion and a second. Questions or comments? Hearing none. Those in favor, say aye. Motion passes. <coughs> we have correspondence received from Hammond City Court listing designated purchasing agents. Well, do we need to approve the purchasing agents for the court? No. Huh? Okay. Then we'll just acknowledge that. Uh, item S is health benefit plan, excess loss coverage, and schedule of benefits. This came from controllers. This is, um, we met with our third-party agent on the health insurance plan. This is for our reinsurance purposes. This is a bid out and the recommendation is to award the contract to GMIC, Great Midwest Insurance Company. Make a motion to approve that contract. Motion and a second. Questions or comments? Hearing none, those in favor say aye. 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 Item T, medical specific insurance renewal contract. They're actually, they're actually part of the same, I'm sorry. It's the same thing. They're the same thing. It has to go through with, uh, for two groups, for some reason. So the other one would be under Medicare Advantage. Medicare Advantage. Medicare Advantage. First one was the HIIG accident health, and the second one was the GMIC. It's the same policy. So we don't need to do a second motion? Okay. Then we'll move down to matters from other board members. I have one matter. We have the request from uh, Corellis for the pedestrian crossing on 169th Street. They've made some modifications to it. Engineering department has uh, reviewed it and they recommend that we okay it, contingent on an agreement for the city to operate and maintain the signals. Do I have a motion approving their crosswalk request? Motion to approve the crosswalk request. Second. Motion 
motion to second questions or comments hearing none those in favor say aye, aye. motion passes any other matters from other board members any matters from other department heads or their representative gary So it's on the public right of way? Uh, in the parkway, yes. Okay. They'll take care of it. Okay. Motion and a second. Questions or comments? Hearing none, those in favor say aye. Aye. And your second one? Yes. Um, there's a problem going on at City Hall with people parking here through the weekends and stuff like that using the City Hall. But at this time, we put some signs out that state parking for City Hall business or employees only. Others will be ticketed and towed away in the ordinance. They, are, they were put out there this morning. Um, I guess Mike that does the plowing here is having problems with people parking cars all through here through the night and stuff. Yeah, especially in the winter time because you can't plow the parking lot right. if there's a couple cars scattered around. And I guess it's a big problem. It's, it's but, a but this is in ordinance form? And it's already been passed by the city council, or it's in no, the process? Because of what's coming this weekend, we went ahead and put them out now. So that's why I'm bringing it to board of work, and then we'll send it to council. But we need to act on it now. We, so we probably need to make a motion approving the no parking after hours, or? Well, they had that after 11. So what did the sign say? That, so they start parking after 11. The signs say employee and business, city hall business parking only? Yes. Do I have a motion approving that? Motion and a second. Questions or comments? Hearing none, those in favor say aye. aye. Anything else, Gary? No, that was it. Just the two. Do we have any new business? Just wanted to point out that uh, our new Hawk signal at 165th and Howard will go active on Monday. So I uh, just wanted to let the Board of Works aware that that work is nearly complete. Okay, thank you. Thank you. There's no new business. Any old business? Meetings open to the public. Is there anyone in the audience who'd like to step up to the microphone? We have a motion to adjourn. Second. Those in favor say aye. Aye. 